Yo, what's going on, guys? And supposedly, shout out to Eric Pincus. I actually personally know Eric Pincus. You know, had great conversations with him at All Star Weekend. And we're hearing that the Cavaliers are probably going to trade Donovan Mitchell before letting him leave in free agency, as it's seemingly is apparent that he's not going to sign an extension with them. I'd like to hear your thoughts before we continue today's video. There will be, you know, I guess time stamps down below if you guys just want to skip ahead to the parts of the episode where we talk about his landing spots and other parts. So let's just get right into it and I'll hear your guys' thoughts. Do you think Donovan Mitchell stays or does he leave? So basically what we are hearing is Mr. Donovan Mitchell is more than likely the buzz in the NBA circles. Eric Pincus writes suggests that barring a run to the NBA finals, Donovan Mitchell will decline any extension from the Cavaliers and look elsewhere. The Cavaliers are more likely to move him well before he can leave outright as a free agent. So if right now, even if Mitch will request a trade, the Cavaliers have an obligation to say, you know, no, because he's under contract till 24 to 25. But of course, he can certainly decline that $37 million option in 25, 26. So he would be able to explore unrestricted free agency in July 25. Now, Mitchell could accept the maximum extension before then, one which multiple sources have indicated the Cavaliers would happily pay. But if he doesn't, obviously, we have just said that unless there is an NBA run, finals run, he's not going to accept crap because they gave up three first round picks, two first round swaps, a future all star in Lowry Marketing, Ochai Abaji, and Colin Sexton. And the Cavaliers can't let that turn into two or three brief playoff runs and just let him walk into free agency for nothing in compensation. So, for a franchise that's trying to win, and if the Cavaliers do go on a deep playoff run, they probably could convince Mitchell to re sign that extension, Eric Pinkus writes. But I think. The biggest thing is, is this is a, they know this off season's the last time to get maximum return in draft pick and probably roster flexibility. So I think they would trade him if they can get enough draft picks and compensation in return. Now, for me, I think the biggest thing is when we look at Mr. Donovan Mitchell, where will he go and i think that's the biggest thing i think this is a good team the cavaliers could really be the dark horse everyone's saying like the mavericks are the dark horses but the Cavs could be the dark horse i honestly think the Cavs are better than the bucks they're probably the second best team in the east depends on how you view the knicks and magic but or the heat so for me i think if he does leave it's because he doesn't see this team being able to get better. But I just think that this you got Evan Mobley, who's a young guy. I know they're four and six in the last 10, but I I think they, you know, there's six games on the left in the season. This could be a 51 team. I have belief that this is a, a decent basketball squad and it, it makes sense to me. So I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments section. So let us talk about what are some landing spots for Donovan Mitchell. Let me hear your comments down below. Where do you think he will go and why? I think there's a plethora of places and it makes sense that, you know, some of these are more likely than others. I have one that I think is the most likely in my mind. I mean, I think a lot of teams could overpay for him, but I think obviously you got the New York teams and Brooklyn and the Knicks, but I think the other one is... South Florida, maybe that's just because I live here, but let's get right into it. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Who do you guys think is the most likely person to get an opportunity to head or to get Donovan Mitchell? So we'll start with the first one. The Lakers add LeBron and AD. How would they do this? Why would they do this? So the way it would go down is the Lakers obviously have a big free agent question of their own. LeBron could you know leave this summer but he's probably going to stay and they're going to go hunting for a third star to pair up with davis and lebron and any teams that trades for mitchell they want to have an assurance that he would resign with them and the lakers are hard cap the first apron 120 172.3 million dollars through the rest of this league season so a any mitchell trade would have to be until july 
they couldn't do it like on draft night and the new Orleans pelicans have the right to take either the 24 or 25 first round pick but the lakers can trade one of them once they decide and they can also offer the 29 and 20 31 pick so i think up to five second rounders after this year's draft in terms of outgoing players the lakers can reach Matt mitchell's salary with d'angelo russell's pick it player option if he picks it up Rui hachimura other combinations are like Austin Reeves, Gabe Vincent, Jared Vanderbilt with Jalen Huchifino, Maxwell Lewis, Christian Wood, Jackson Hayes, and Cam Reddish. And, you know, they would have to pick up their, the last three guys would have to pick up their player options. They would have to at least send $35.4 million in outgoing salary to avoid a hard cap at the first apron, which will be $178.7 million. And that outgoing amount could dip to $28.1 million if they are willing to be hard cap, but that might be impractical if James does return on a $50 million contract which is the expectation now the new collective bargaining agreement does eliminate teams ability to throw in more than one minimum contract for salary matching purposes for example the lakers can only send one of lewis wood hayes or reddish to reach 28 million dollars or 35 million dollars outgoing salary to take back mitchell so that's just something you need to keep on i just don't think that you know it's likely for them to get donovan mitchell i think the miami heat have a better chance to get donovan mitchell than the lakers do so let's talk about the heat trio of jimmy bam and spider writes eric pinkus so right here you would look at it again no income tax good long tenure to coach and they could trade the this year's first round pick after they draft it along with the 29 and 31 first round picks and up to four second rounders and one of or one of two of these guys so basically tyler hero terry rozier duncan roxon duncan robinson packaged with probably Hami haquez and either nicole jovich caleb martin orlando robinson kevin love thomas bryant or josh richardson one of those four players would have to pick up their player options and you now those three picks with Hami would probably be the coveted guy, maybe Tyler Hero, and then you throw in like Yo Fitcher Martin makes the salary a minimum guy. I I think the idea of Donovan, Jimmy, and Bam right there, you have a bona fide score. You have Jimmy being kind of like the veteran and then Bam being like the all defensive player. I feel like that team can last a long with Los Angeles Lakers. You're only getting one year of LeBron, maybe two years. And that's why I don't think the Lakers one is as likely because of how short of an opportunity it would be. But with Miami, you're getting the chance to, this is going to be for a very long time that you would be doing this. The next one is can Houston lure Mitchell? I don't know. I mean, they've done a really good job. I think the, the thing is they can offer Jalen green. The idea is, the Rockets have the Brooklyn Nets unprotected first from 24 and 26 pick swaps in 25 and 27 and all of their own first round picks from, I believe, what, till 2031. And I I think Houston doesn't have many second rounders to offer, like up to four, but it has plenty of second round picks that it can trade. And if the, the Rockets were to keep Jabari Smith, Van Bleed, and Brooks, they could build a deal around Green and maybe like green cam whitmore and use you know jock landell jay sean tate or stephen adams or jeff green as salary matching purposes i think this one could be a good one i just he he would be going from the cavaliers to houston which are a very similar situation just houston's a better area to live in no income tax i just think it's too similar of a situation for Donovan Mitchell to want to go, he'd be going to one young team hoping to become a contender to another young team that's hoping to become a contender. That's my whole thing with that one. The Knicks, long has been mentioned that he would go to this. So Donovan Mitchell is, you know, is represented by CAA Sports. Guess who used to be an agent and high up executive for CAA? Team president Leon Rose. And... We all knew that Cleveland could be a temporary layover until he went to New York. And the Knicks have all of their own first round picks as well as the future first round picks from Dallas, Detroit, Washington, and Milwaukee, even though they're protected most of those. The stepping in rule limits how many first rounders they can offer, but they're flush with draft capital and they can 
basically offer more first round picks than anybody else and if they were to resign og ananobi and keep jalen brunson a trade for mitchell would probably be built around players like julius randall mitchell robinson and or boyan bardanovic who has only two million dollars guaranteed of that 19 million dollar salary they could also include josh hart dante divincenzo miles mcbride jericho sims mama didi akiti daquan jeffries for salary matching purposes i just think like they might need a third team because if they do use Joe's julius randall he's not going to go to cleveland he's going to have to be sent to a third team would look at compensation for him but when i look at that i just don't think it's like i think uh, like i i don't think cleveland would want to send him to new york i think if they're going to send him to a new york team it would be i think there's not enough touches to go around for the knicks but maybe maybe that's the team he wants to go and that's i'm probably true I think Brooklyn's a better fit because Mikhail Bridges and Donovan Mitchell seem like a better fit than Jalen Brunson and Donovan Mitchell. First of all, that's going to be a terrible defense. And I know you have Tom Thibodeau as your coach, but Mikhail Bridges and Donovan Mitchell, I think, works very well. Strong Marks also has strong ties to CAA, and Mikhail Bridges has a good relationship with Donovan Mitchell. They can offer, you know, a bunch of the Phoenix Suns first round picks, and they have. 10 second round picks they have ben simmons contract which can be used as an expiring and even if they don't want ben simmons dorian finney smith dennis schroeder and cameron johnson packaged with either noah Clowney, Derek whitehead Dar deron sharp jalen wilson and cam thomas or kia whd up could all be guys there and i just think the idea of a mikhail bridges donovan mitchell let's say they keep claxton Maybe they keep Cam, uh, they, they would drink Cam Johnson. I just feel like that's just a better, better unit than, I, I think the Knicks are deeper, but I feel like the Knicks would get gutted and I don't know if their defense would be good enough to make up for it. I just, I just like him better in Brooklyn than in New York, but I could see either teams working out. I think Miami's the best fit for him. Now let's do honorable mentions. And of course, we got to look at the Philadelphia 76ers. They're going star hunting and they have a significant trade exception, financial flexibility with some pick consideration or perhaps multi-team trade to get more assets could be in the works. But I think the, the San Antonio Spurs, who also have been linked to Trey Young, could look at him. But I think they want more of a guard. I think the, the dark horse is OKC. They have all the assets to do it. But I think this all hinges on can they get him to resign? Will they? Won't they? who knows but that's where i want to hear your guys thoughts down below in the comment section and let me know where do you think donovan mitchell is going to go